Hey there, this is Chad from Zombified Shark, and this is episode one, part three of Too Many Plugins. And we are covering Versillian Studios Chamber Orchestra in this episode. This is going to be percussion specific. Episode one was strings, episode two was brass and woodwinds, and now episode three, percussion. So let's take a listen, and then we will talk about it. Okay, uh, so if you have watched episodes one and two, or parts one and two, um, it was a different piece of music. This one is specifically percussion, features percussion, because uh, there's a lot of percussion sounds, and I wanted to make sure I used as many of them as I could. So, you know, kind of avant-garde noise exploration type thing going on here. Um, so there are some... There's, there's a number one, let's talk about some good things and some bad things. Um, there's a lot of sounds here, which is great. I mean, so if you take a look at the, at the keyboard, so all these different colors, you know, it's all different kinds of sounds are sort of grouped by, um, you know, it's like timpanis are here and then you got your uh, snare here, you got your, your bass drum, um, and uh, I am using a pretty ridiculous reverb on here. Let's uh, let's go ahead and just turn that down a little bit because it's it's a little silly. Um, we'll we'll just flip the mix there. Um, all right, so whole bunch of sounds. Um, there's a couple of them that actually do have some issues that I want to address, and um, it uh, makes some velocity levels unplayable, um, which is unfortunate, but hey, you know, it, things happen. So it's a, it's a free plugin. Like I said, in the other ones, it's a free, it's free, it's free VSD and it's a pretty good orchestra sound. So you can't complain too much when it's free. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's, let's take a look. See here. Um, so we got all kinds of sounds going on here. You know, that's some, some laser beam sounds. We, we got your kind of traditional percussion stuff. There's our kick, snares. We got cymbals in this octave. And then, then we get into the timpanis. And you can explore all of these on your own. So, um, uh, so one minor issue that I came across in a couple of the different sounds is I believe the problem is that the samples were recorded at, uh, the noise floor was too low. Uh, they weren't, it wasn't a hot enough mic and then they normalized the sample. And so you get a bunch of, you get some sampling artifacts. Um, and then on, uh, this particular one, this little side stick conga bongo thing here, um, you can hear it. And at first I was like, is that room? What is that? And then I kept messing with it. And the more I listened to it, I was like, oh, no, that's a, yeah, that that's a sampling issue. So, um, I mean, it almost sounds like rain or something going on behind it. Um, the timpani has a similar issue. There it is. Yeah, so it was sampled too low of a level to normalized or something there could be some other issue but um 
I, I, I so I picked that up on a few different uh, instruments. There may be another one or two that I'm forgetting about uh, where it has that same problem, but that's definitely something to be aware of because it doesn't happen when you hit it hard. It's just when you hit it soft, and unfortunately, the distortion is louder than the note. So there it is. It's I mean, it's a cool sound actually, but not what you're looking for if you're, you know, going for timpani, soft timpani. So anyways, uh, just some to be aware of. Yeah, so it does it on F sharp, G. So it's just those two notes. That's not too bad. Um, so I guess you just got to avoid those. Uh, similar uh, to uh, the other two parts, um, when you're using this, you do have to hold out your sustains, you know, make your note lengths appropriately long to make sure you get the full effect. Otherwise, yeah, it just cuts it off. And you, uh, I guess with percussion, you could just bump the sustain up, or I keep saying sustain. Uh, I, I, what I meant was release. So you could bump the release up on these and... Um, you, you, you're going to be good for most cases, but you may not want the release for things like that. You, you may want to, you may want to stop it early. So that's where, you know, we're building, we're building. Okay. And then it stops. So something to be aware of, um, that, and that's that detail work I was talking about. When you're using VSCO, you got to pay attention to the details and there's little stuff that you got to look at and make sure that you're doing it. Um, and you, if you rush through it and don't give yourself enough time, then it comes out signing, sounding much more amateurish than it can. It can actually sound pretty professional. So there's percussion. Let's talk about piano. So there's two different pianos. There's this one, which uh, I guess is kind of a concert piano, and then there is the upright piano. And, you know, sound, sounds like an upright piano. I have one sitting behind me in the studio. Sounds a lot like that. Um, this concert piano does not have a lot of velocity levels. Two, maybe? Yeah, I'm going to go with two. So, um, in it, in it's kind of a muted concert piano. So, um, and, I mean, it's articulation upright piano, so who knows? Maybe it's the same instrument and it's just been EQ. I don't think so, though. But whatever the case... Um, the uh, so these two pianos are maybe that's a little programming issue because you go to piano it says upright and then you go to the other one and it says piano instead of upright um so um no big deal either way um not a ton of velocity levels but i personally really like this concert piano i mean it's got a very it's a gentle sound um so it's got a great soft sound um and it's not too overpowering uh so just kind of a dull concert piano um and the organ, um, I have not had a use for the organ yet. Real churchy. And then you go down. You got your, I guess they're, they're not really foot pedals. Not real sure what's going on there. Um, but uh, big organ sound. Um, then uh, the other organ, organ soft, it's like a pipe organ. Um, and the other one's a pipe organ. It's like a big pipe church organ. It's not a reed organ. So a little different. Um, I, I get, this is one I didn't have a use for, or at least I haven't had a use for it yet. I have a lot of organ sounds, so this is probably not the one I would go to because uh, definitely have ones that are better than that. But um, just be aware of them. Um, you know, they're there. Um, harp. So, um, 
-hmm. harp is one of those instruments that can sound really generic or can sound really good. This one leans more towards the generic side. I'm not crazy about this harp sound. Um, it's acceptable, but it doesn't really stand on its own as a solo instrument. Um, and some of the other free stuff out there has better harp sounds. So again, it's there. Um, I'm just not super crazy about that one myself. Uh, let's see, percussion we have talked about ad nauseum. Uh, marimba, not a bad marimba. It would have been nice if there was some key switching with uh, different mallets, but um, I guess if the library you have only has one set of mallets, medium hard, medium, something like that, then it is what it is. Um, but pretty decent marimba sound. Haven't had a whole lot of use for it yet because marimba is not something I go to very often, but it's there. Glockenspiel, one of my favorites. Um, one of my favorite instruments of all time. Um, and this is decent sounding. There's some better ones out there, but this is pretty decent. Um, just make sure that, you know, you're using your sustain pedal, your foot pedal, or you're holding out the notes to the appropriate length. Otherwise, you got a sh really short attack. Um, and then, last but not least, xylophone. Which, I only ever use it as kind of an accent instrument. Um, and this one's respectable. And that is it. We have gone through the bulk, if not all. I think that was everything of the Versillian Studios Chamber Orchestra. Uh, we rushed through some of that. If you uh, would like to see a showcase of a particular instrument or you'd like to see more of one of these or you have a question and I didn't cover it because I didn't cover every single knob um, that's here uh, and every little possible in and out, I'm more than willing to do so. Um, feel free to uh, let me know in the comments or send me a message. Uh, and uh, if you appreciate and, and uh, find this content useful, then um, let me know by subscribing uh, because that helps me know what I should do more of. Uh, and so this is the first of what will be many um, plug-in VST instrument library type uh, videos. I'm going to go through a very long list of them. There'll be ones that are DAW specific. There are ones that will be uh, vendor specific, like say native instruments, probably be a whole series on them or air windows. There'll be a whole series on them. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoyed it uh, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers.